G'day, Steve Morgan here, Fishing Monthly Magazines on a beautiful day down at the Jumpin' Pin on the Gold Coast in South East Queensland. We are a stone's throw from the factory of Horizon Boats. They've got a new factory, they've moved from a bit further south and they are absolutely killing it during these COVID times, mate. You've had, never had as many orders for Horizon Boats as you've ever had before, Mark. We haven't, Steve. This is a great year. 2020 has really turned around for us um, and great timing too. Um, we're here today to test the Horizon Plate boats. Now, anyone that's familiar with the Horizon brand, they make great value for money boats and they've made these uh, the runabout style boats for years in a press side, but now the Horizon Plate means you can get the similar layout of boat, the similar design, but in kind of an, an upgraded, more aluminium, stronger package. Mark, tell us about that, uh, that deal. Uh, Steve, the, the move to our new factory allowed us to expand our range. We've got the room, we've got the people, um, and we've got the know-how to do it. Um, so the, we've kept our popular range of boats but extended them right up to 585 in plate. Yep. So the, the deal is if you like this configuration of boat you can get it in the standard yep. or you can spend a few thousand dollars more and get it in the, in the Horizon Plate hull. Now let's dig into a little bit more detail about Horizon Plate. Tell us about the technology uh, under the hull. We use a, a grid core, what we call a grid core uh, construction method, uh, four mil plate bottom and sides and four mil and three mil stringers and bulkheads um, full height from the floor right down to the hull fully welded um, giving an amazingly strong hull a and this uh, this is coming about to keep for plate boats where people want to go a bit more offshore um, so the same great features as the press models just a bit beefy a bit heavier and, and able to take a bit more now you guys also make uh, plenty of commercial boats and uh, you build a broad variety of boats which have helped you refine that strength and that technology haven't you we do, Steve. We, we build for another, a number of other builders. We build uh, commercial boats. We do boats for SES. And all of that know-how um, made it easy to swap into, into except expanding the range for us. Now, we've got a, a 525 Sunrunner behind us, which is one, I suppose, in the middle of the range of the, uh, of the Horizon Plate, powered by a Mercury 115 Pro XS. Um, what's your initial thoughts? We drove it down from the ramp this morning. Uh, it's a neat little package. It is a wonderful, it's a great boat. It's great fun to drive. Very easily driven. It popped out of the water, um, handled beautifully, and uh, and really comfortable. Uh, th that style of boat, sitting up high, overlooking it was yeah, a great trip down here. Well, there you go. And of course, at Fishing Monthly, we don't uh, believe the distributors or the manufacturers at all. We want to get in it for ourselves. The bar's just around the corner. Let's take this onto the water and come back to you with some performance stats. Well, there you go. That was the Horizon Plate Sunrunner 525 out on the jumping pin. And despite our best intentions, we couldn't find any real rough water to give this a real test in. But, uh, but powered by that Mercury 2.1 litre, 115 horsepower Pro XS, it was quite a nippy and nimble little boat. Let's look at some of the performance stats for you. Um, best economy was, of course, at 3,500 RPM, which is where most boats sit, uh, doing 32 kilometres an hour, where it got 2.4 kilometres 
kilometres per litre burn. Now you combine that with a 150 litre fuel tank and that's well over 300 kilometres of range for you to have some fun on the weekends. Um, it was spinning a 17 inch Revolution 4 blade stainless steel mercury prop and that seemed to be suited quite well to this rig. Um, when you look over the boat you notice it is a real true runabout style. There's real minimum cabin space at the front, there's just a couple of small areas which have uh, a little bit of framing to hold your gear from rolling back in the boat and all of the rest is seat and cockpit space. Um, really suits people that, uh, that like maybe hanging a few baits over the back uh, and anchoring. Now talking of anchoring, uh, it has really really good access to the front anchor well and to the front of the boat. That windscreen splits and opens up nicely, there's a, a plate which folds over and then you have a, an anchor well which is actually semi covered as well. So, so it's really easy, you don't have to lean over anything to, to get access to that anchor well. I know a lot of guys like putting winches on boats but this one here, especially in an estuarine situation, you're not going to need it. Um, we also like little uh, details like the underfloor kill tank down the back. It gives you a place to, to put not even small fish, like it'll hold a decent sized mackerel in there um, and you can keep it full of ice and out of the road uh, with your catch in it. Now let's talk trailer. This is supplied on a single axle trailer. The whole rig comes in at just over a tonne so you can get away with that single axle. And what that single axle trailer does for you, it gives you manoeuvrability when you take the boat off the car. You don't need a car to manoeuvre into space. If you've got a, a little corner you need to wheel it into, you can do that all by hand, which is pretty cool. Um, but it is a beamy boat, 2.4 metres, which means that it the boat and the hull itself sits up above the wheel guards on the trailer. Now that means a couple of things. One, it means you're going to need a way to get into the boat which isn't climbing over the sides because the sides are really high. But luckily the, uh, the fold over ladder and the transom door are both standards on this hull. This boat would really suit someone who's been in a tinny, an unpainted tinny, they're tired of being uncomfortable on the water because this boat with the shade that it offers, with the comfortable helm seats and the abundant fishing space make it a great step up from your basic tinny. Now this boat as tested came in at $49,990 um, and it can be towed with nearly any car. So if you want more information on this talk to any of the 30 Horizon dealers Australia wide or visit www.horizonboats dot com dot au and give them a like on Facebook at Horizon Boats if you want to find out about the latest models that are coming out.